either. Actually, so I I go into the studio not knowing what what's gonna come up out of it, and I think uh, it doesn't matter to me that, that much because it's I think part of the the whole music for me is the process that's the most interesting one. Yeah. Interesting. Who are your biggest influences, like uh, musicians, films, etc. Um. Musically, from a local scene context, I think I find people like uh, Iwan from Tenderfist very inspiring. Uh, the way he writes and stuff like that. Uh, you know, you get all the you know Denzel and um, those guys, Smack, very inspiring. Ali Jo. But I think from a, from a bigger scale, I try to uh, look at other examples like visual artists, uh, things that I resonate with somehow and try to reapply that to what I do. Uh, one of them, there's this guitarist he plays for Grizzly Bear, this band called Grizzly Bear. I'm not a big fan of their work, but I'm a big fan of his work, uh, his solo work. So I think, and he's an extremely humble guy for a very talented person. So I think that's, that's really inspiring and influence, influences me a lot. Yeah. Um, the third question is, what are the plans for the future? I think um, I think I want to work on a lot more projects, not necessarily just music. I think the core is music, um, but I'm also probably I don't know if I should say this. Um, I'm I might be going into academia and just kind of like focus on 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 uh, sound therapy. Try and, I don't know yet, you know, but it's leading towards a bit more research and coming up with projects, art projects related to those research. Mm. The last question is, what advice would you have for someone wanting to follow your footsteps? Don't. I think uh, you should you should try and figure it out yourself. Like. I think that's part of the fun, especially from a creative perspective. Um, but always, yeah. I think I think don't lie. I think you should explore, explore it yourself. Yeah. That's it. Thank you so yeah. much. Always.